You want me to grieve But the pain of my feel will set me free yeah. Go on you, go on Ease yourself, just keep it calm, you just star Only put pressure on my car What time it hard to carry on You don't need no girl for turn to no man for talk to Feeling so far. Wagwan Success family, hope everyone is doing alright. If you're new to the channel, welcome and make sure to subscribe to get all our latest videos. Like this video so we can continue to drop more contents like this one. Alright, so today I want to talk about Paula Llewellyn, the Director of Public Prosecution, DPP, addresses the controversy surrounding Vibe Scottle case emphasizing her constitutional authority to intervene in the interest of justice she clarifies that despite defense objection she advised the judge to proceed with the trial citing seriousness of the matter and the ability to issue detailed instruction to the jury Llewellyn dismisses so to speak misinformation spread by defense counsel Bert Samuels why did the DPP go into the judge's chambers and, uh, and encouraged him to continue the case where someone was bribing the jury and then she caused him to be arrested and tried in half a tree and convicted emphasizing the integrity of her office and its commitment to justice so this is what she said i have been made to understand that they have been saying i somehow breached the constitution by indicating that we didn't have a problem with the matter going ahead after it was brought to the judge's attention there was this tainted juror there are 50 odd lawyers who operate on behalf of the dpp but under the constitution the dpp is able to step into any case at any time in interest of justice and neither the prosecutor who was there before the judge nor defense counsel can prevent that it is a constitutional right so basically my understanding of this is the DPP is saying regarding the constitutional powers Paula Llewellyn asserts her authority as the director of public prosecution DPP highlighting her constitutional mandate to intervene in cases in the interest of justice. She refutes claims of breaching the constitution explaining that her office can step into any case at any given time anywhere regardless of previous prosecution or defense counsel's objection wow just wow all right so this is another statement from the dpp the attorneys for the defense were saying they didn't think the matter should go on i indicated we wouldn't have a difficulty with the matter proceeding we were saying 60 odd days have been passed and it was a very serious matter and the judge could always issue further and detailed instruction to the jury in addition to the general instruction he really wanted an opinion from us and i indicated that we would not have a problem with him proceeding and that any risk for a decision coming down that would be adverse to us we are the ones who would handle that risk this is my understanding of what was said about the advice to proceed with trial so despite objections from the defense attorney Llewellyn explains her decision to advise the judge to continue with the trial despite a compromised juror she emphasized the seriousness of the case and the possibility for the judge to issue detailed instruction to the jury ultimately indicating her office willingness to handle any adverse outcomes resulting from the decision to proceed so this is the last and final statement from the DPP that I will give to you guys she said he could either have said to the attorneys from my chambers consult with the director and tell me what her opinion is but in light of the peculiar nature of this matter he thought it better to send for me so i could hear exactly what the foreman had to say the dpp said further it is unfortunate that counsel has sought to spread misinformation and, and seek to be mischievous and form a misunderstanding on this area and I can only hope it is not an effort to intimidate me or my office. They must be so careful that being so irresponsible and spreading this sort of misinformation that it does not act as an adverse factor which undermines our security at the office of the DPP we are prosecutors and we have no vested interest in any case all right so my understanding of this is in response to misinformation paula llewellyn condemns the spread of misinformation by defense counsel again bert samuels cautioning 
against attempts to mislead or intimidate her office she outlines the integrity and professionalism of her team emphasizing her impartial dedication to upholding justice um do you guys believe that or no this is my stance i strongly doubt the credibility of the statements made by the dpp as i mentioned previously in my recent video it is evident that the dpp interjected herself into this case to enhance her authority within the justice system her recent action where she blatantly flaunted her power as the dpp only reinforced my belief and it's concerning that she implied she could influence the judge's decision regardless of the arguments presented by the prosecution or the defense attorneys furthermore right the apparent lack of assertiveness from the trial judge raises suspicions about whether he was swayed by the dpp's influence his decision to seek her input during the proceedings was highly questionable as it's not the role of a prosecutor to advise the judge on a case like why do you feel the need to insert yourself into the case to give opinion right so this conduct undermines the fairness of the trial and it will undermine the fairness of the trial especially considering the dpp's vested interest in securing a conviction it appears that the dpp is using her eloquence and position to justify her action in the vibes cartel case despite her apparent bias and celebration of the conviction it's crucial to scrutinize her action and ensure that justice is served impartially without undue influence from individuals in position of power like the dpp trying to tell you that hey listen i am the dpp and i can say whether or not i give advice or, or anything that i do is a concept is, is a constitutional power and whether the the prosecutors are or the defense attorney they cannot do or say anything about it it's my power and this is how i exercise my power within the justice system i know myself and everyone else is looking forward to see the dpp role in this case in vibes cartel case again whether it whether it goes to a retrial which we don't want whether he's to get bail which she might fight or whether they try to use the same contaminated evidence and witness statement and all of these things because if the witness is not able to come back what they might do is try to is try to reuse the reuse the initial witness statement and try to reuse the contaminated evidence that they had previously so we will definitely see if this is they if they are upholding justice and doing the right thing or they are just exercising their power to make sure that they get a conviction so they can have this as an accolade 